I did a spent two years writing a book on the Christian right called The American Fascist, The Christian Right and the War in America, and I come out of the church. My father was a minister, and I graduated from seminary. I don't look at this movement as a religious movement. They're, they're Christian heretics. They've utterly perverted and deformed the message of the gospel, acculturating it with the worst aspects of American chauvinism, greed, uh, bigotry. Uh, and like all totalitarian movements, uh, removed people from a reality-based world. That's, their attra that's the attraction of the movement. And it was interesting carrying out dozens and dozens of interviews of followers who I came to have a great deal of empathy for. The stories of severe financial distress, um, struggles with substance abuse, domestic and sexual violence, uh, all of the attendant problems that come when communities break down drove these people to profound despair. And so they retreated into a world of magic and miracles and destiny and very authoritarian church structures led inevitably by white male figures who are in direct contact with God and who cannot be questioned. And when you get inside these megachurches, they have a cult-like quality to them. You have to get beyond the sort of um, the propagandistic quality, which they is what they the face that they show to the outward world, including in their church service, and get into the women's groups or the men's groups or the creationist seminars, and then you see it, and then it becomes a form of indoctrination, essentially breaking people, uh, and. I think you see that same kind of emotional consistency coupled with utter irrationality within the agenda of the Tea Party itself. Uh, they, you know, government's part of the problem, but the, the military is exempt as if somehow it's not part of government. Uh, we want to cut taxes and, and reduce deficits. deficits. Uh, we want government out of our lives, but don't touch Social Security. Uh, the, the, the political agenda is completely irrational, but uh, like the Christian right itself, uh, it provides uh, a route to direct rage and uh, a simplified world view uh, that is reduced to easily digestible cliches and slogans and jargon that fundamentally don't make sense uh, if you're rooted in a reality-based world.